which is the wearing of heels by women or ladies. Honestly, I am not in favor of women wearing heels, but then, of course, they would have a million and one reasons why they think it's good for them, you know, probably for the aesthetic reasons. But let's find out what the health reasons or implications could be for the extensive wearing of heels. And we've been joined by Dr. Bright Redu. He's a general physician and also with Max International. Good morning, Doc. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, you're welcome. You look uh, yellow and black. <laughs> yeah, black and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> black and yellow, okay, that's right. Okay, so to begin with, are there any health implications at all, whether minimum or maximum, with wearing heels? Yeah, there are lots of health implications when it comes mm. to wearing high heels. And um, you know, the problem is when you wear high heels, it displaces the body center of gravity. I'll be talking some biomechanics here, and I'll try and make it very <laughs> simple for people to understand. Okay. When you wear high heels, and it's um, usually heels that are um, higher than 2.2 uh, 2 inches, it displaces the body a bit forward because the heels are high up, the ankle goes high up, and basically people stand, the women stand on their toes mm. instead, especially those ones that are flat, not the wedge ones or the, the platform ones. Those that you have the toes on the, on the, on the floor, and then the heels high up. Very high. Yeah, so when it displaces, it, it changes the way weight is distributed to the foot. Okay. Most of the weight comes to the toes this time. Also, it displaces the body a bit forward, but the body must adjust to maintain the normal posture. So there's an abnormal curvature at the back mm. to hold the position that way. Then it's, they walk in a different way, different from the normal. Yeah. When that happens, the spine, you know, the spine, the spine has got a, a normal curvature, it curves in a certain pattern and it changes the way the, the spine curves mm. and it causes the bones in the back, the, vertebr the, vert the vertebrae to shift out of alignment when mm. this happens for a long time. Those are one of the, the, some of the problems that happen. When these bones shift out, it leads to degeneration, dis, uh, uh, vertebral disc collapse. You have some discs in between the bones that hold the spinal cord mm -hmm. and some, sometimes the, 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 the bones can compress on nerves in the lower back region and it causes chronic pain that shoots through the legs wow. going to the waist. This happens over a long time. Also, it, because of the, the change in the, the, the mechanics in the, in, the, in the lower part of the body, you have increased wear and tear, you have arthritis in the, in the, in the hip bones, arthritis in the, in the knee bones, mm. and arthritis in the joints below in the feet. Also, one, one of the most important things that happen is that when they, when they stand on a high heel and they, they change the, the, the way the foot is placed on the, on the, on the floor, there is the Achilles tendon. A tendon that's at the back of the about ankle. The, okay. when, you, when, you, when, you, when you have your feet on the floor flat this way, the Achilles tendon is a particular way. When you raise it up, the tendon contracts. Okay. And when you keep wearing high heels for a long time, like you wear high heels all the time, so those who go to work in high heels and um, walk about a lot with high heels, the tendon doesn't, uh, that is not allowed to contract and, and, and oh, relax. Yes. So it stays contracted. Then Achilles heels shortens over time. It's a big problem. When it shortens and you try now to go on flats, it's almost impossible because mm -hmm. now it has to stretch abnormally. There's inflammation, there's pain. And you know, in, in, in some parts of the world, women have women who've worn high heels for a long time are well into their sixties, cannot wear flats. They are stuck to because the they have the Achilles tendons have been shortened and so they are stuck to the high heels. But when the young women see them in the high heels, they say, Oh my god, yeah, she's sixty yeah. and she's hot in yeah, high heels. Yeah. The problem <laughs> is she cannot go on flats. So wow. these, these, are, these are the problems and it can cause so, so much um, damage to the, the tendons and the muscles in the feet, even the calf muscles mm. and go some changes. Wearing high heels for a long time has got lots of consequences and we call something bunions that develop on the, on the, on the, on the toes. Mm. Some of the women wear um, heels and high heels tend to have very narrow ending. Therefore, their, their toes are forced into abnormal mm. positions, compression of the feet that can cause nerve damage and bone damage. So it's a, it's a lot wow. out there. I, I simply knew there were problems with wearing heels and my observ my simply is from observation because they are unable to walk well and they are shaky and all of that. But I didn't know there was this much oh, yeah. problem. We'll look at its effect on the womb, especially also women who are pregnant and wear heels and all of that. Still on health anyway, uh, we come back to the issue of heels that women wear. Very elaborate uh, expose you gave us on the health the probable health defects of wearing heels. Now let's take it a step further. There are some pregnant women, maybe in the first few months of pregnancy, who wear heels. What are the 
defects or what are the problems associated with wearing heels, especially when you're pregnant? Well, wearing heels when you're pregnant is not advisable. Number one, you can fall and the, the, the injury can be quite, you know, um, severe. It can, it can affect you and the baby. Mm. It can lead to miscarriage. And women fall when they wear high, very, very high heels. I'm talking about more than two uh, inches high, three, four, five, some even six, six inches. inches. And they, they walk like this. <laughs> and that's, that's quite dangerous. Also, um, some women may, some, some, some people may, may tolerate it in the first, um, the first two or three months of pregnancy, but as you become heavier and you increase in girth, mm -hmm. you don't want to displace your center of gravity. Plus, in pregnancy, the ligaments become a bit lax mm -hmm. and it can cause a lot of instability. So really, it's not advisable right, so. to wear high heels. In pregnancy, we want to put um, safety over fashion and elegance, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. It's a nine-month <laughs> period. You can get out of that and then get back to wearing your high heels okay. if you so choose to. Let's talk about the types of heels there are. What is on our screen now is probably what they will call the, this should be like what, four inches, five maybe. But at what level, uh -huh, and then there's this one too, they call the block or, well, pardon my, my fashion novice. Yeah. And then there's what they call the wedge as well. Yeah. What are the inches that would you'd say is okay Oh, below below two inches is okay. Two inches and below. And most um, most chiropractors and um, people who do it neuromuscular and um, pain say one point five inches is very safe. Mm. Some of the heels too are already on a block. You don't you don't have you don't have the the ankle really high above the toes because okay. the whole the whole the whole shoe is on a block. So that one it's it's fine. But if you if you have the one where your toes are, are on the on the floor mm. and your ankles are high up. Your feet are like this. That's quite dangerous. That's a dangerous. Yes, that, that's the worst one you can have. Okay, and then men as well. There are some men who also wear heels. Of course, the differences uh, with what women wear is quite huge. But do are there any health problems with the heels men wear or the heels that are under men's shoes? Usually, usually the men the men's shoes are kind of um, blocked. There's a, there's a platform. That the whole shoe sits on, mm -hmm. so there is no much of a height difference between the toes and the an the, the ankle joint. Okay. The, so if, if a man's shoe is high, it's almost high. So his feet is like this, or maybe like this. But a woman's like this. Okay. Or like this. So men usually don't have these problems that come with wearing high heels. Men's heels are not that high. Okay. So the advice today is that the maximum heel length you should wear should be two. Yeah, but also, uh, women, women cannot do without high heels, we know that. So <laughs> the, the advice really is that if you want to wear high heels, if you're an office worker and your job involves standing a lot, mm -hmm. maybe you walk around and stand out in the office, you don't have to wear high heels every day to the office. Okay. You may want to wear it to a function, maybe a dinner, you're taking an award, you know, some, some, something where you want, to, you want to look elegant. Okay. You can have flats on whilst you're driving from your house to the venue, get to the venue, change into your high heels. Mm -hmm. And if it's a dinner, you walk about a bit, you sit down, so you don't have that pressure. So it's advisable to wear the heels, for instance, to the office, and then when you get to the office, you can change into your flats. Then when, so when you're outside, it's okay for that, what, 5, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. But after that... Heels, heels are for fashion statements, so you want to wear the heels when, when you're going to be seen. Okay. Right? So if, if you're not going to be seen, there's really no point in wearing the heels. <laughs> so wear, wear the flats in your car, get to the function, change, wear, attend the function in your heels, come back uh, to your car, change Clear. into flats, go back, and as much as possible, when it's not needed, it's try to avoid very, very high heels, because it has a long, long-term effect okay. on the bones, the joints, and the muscles, and the tendons in the, in the legs. Okay, all right, and uh, now that we are also in the Christmas period, I'm sure lots of events and programs will be coming up, women would want to wear heels, you are advised, be careful when to wear the heels, and for how long you wear them.